Uncle C back in the office and in today's video I'm going to explain why you need to dump women more often if they're giving you trouble in your relationship and oftentimes I'm going to you you won't you'll be blindsided you won't even know what trouble is because as your emotions get tangled with people oftentimes it's hard to actually cut through the BS okay as you can see this video is kind of an old school vibe I'm slapping the hand and I'm back at it and the reason why I'm making this is because I want you to have rock solid clarity. Now keep in mind, I want to preface this video with saying I have no hate, I have no resentment, I have none of that towards anybody or any past companion I've ever been with and neither should you. But what I can tell you is that if you abide by these specific principles on the back of this whiteboard, not only is your life going to be much easier, but you're going to think more clearly and you're going to have a stronger mindset that will help propel your future and your success to actually interact with the types of women that you want to interact with. With that said, let's dive in. So the very first thing we must discuss is in order to come from this mindset and realize that it's actually healthy for you to get rid of baggage from time to time, is you have to think like a king. Okay, what does that mean? That means if you, and, and I, I, as, as crazy as that sounds, as weird as that sounds, I want you to actually think like you own a castle, okay? And you're at the top of the mountain right here, okay? Not everybody in the entire city or the entire community is going to get access to the king, okay? This is just how life has to work. If everybody has access to you, then that means the value of your time and the presence of you being in front of that person holds no weight, which is ultimately why you need a rock solid screening process and you need to be willing to cut baggage when that baggage is intertwined with your life in negative aspects. So as you're thinking like a king, the mindset you're coming from is that you will not be disrespected, okay? I'm going to run through a numerous list of disrespectful measures that you will oftentimes see. This could be you know, having, having an exclusive committed relationship with your companion, yet that person is consistently posting scandalous photos. Maybe they are constantly fishing for attention. Maybe they are bringing girl drama into your life with their friend group. Maybe it's making it harder for you to focus on your purpose. Things like that. These small disrespectful things add up over time. Okay, and as it adds up over time, what's going to actually happen is that your value, your perceived value in the eyes of that other person is going to lower. Who you were is no longer who you are. And that's when that disconnect happens. So another mindset shift if you're a king. Okay, exclusivity. So somebody having exclusive access to only you is earned. Okay, most guys are entering into relationships and the woman assumes that they're, or the, the, the companion they're dating assumes that that's a right. No, 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 that is not a right. It is an earned privilege. There's a big difference. Now, here's what I can tell you. Not many guys are willing to think like this. And when you do think like this, you say, oh, exclusivity is earned. Okay, well, if 99.9999999% of other guys will operate off the frame that exclusivity is a right and that, that companion they're with automatically gets exclusive access to them, won't that make that woman just go for them? Absolutely not. What do we know about hypergamy? What we know about hypergamy is that the guy at the top wins. If you can frame your perceived value as something that is worked for, there could be a hundred options, a thousand options, a million options in the inbox if they are instantly ready to commit and you are not that shows that you have higher value. Because only in the eyes of that companion would it make sense that a guy willing to push away or say no actually has options. Everything is a value and a perceived value, okay? If you can get your perceived value higher, you win by default. So, here's the fact. You have the leverage in the relationship. You get to control who has access to you. You need to start acting like it. Most guys act like they have no leverage. They're happy to get anything. They're happy to get a date. They're happy to get to, to get a FaceTime call. They're happy to get a good morning text. They're happy for anything. Okay. If you operate from that frame that you're happy to get anything, most often than not, you will get nothing. So moving in to step two, you have, you have this think like a king aspect down. You're like, okay, Casey, this makes sense. What's number two? Well, number two is you have to also shift your mindset into this constant form. And the constant form I'm going to be describing to you is going to be this. It's specifically going to be, you need to ask yourself, why is this person worth my time? Okay? 
Oftentimes, if you ask yourself this question right here, why is this person worth my time? And you remove beauty out of the equation, you remove emotion out of the equation, you actually make a list and you rationally calculate and you rationally ask yourself, why is this person worth my time? What do they bring to the table other than a pretty face? What do they bring to the table other than some, some intimacy in the bedroom? Like what are they actually contributing? If you can't answer these questions or oftentimes what the person is bringing to the table is negative, this is a telltale sign that you need to have the strength to remove yourself from that relationship or at minimum just dissolve the exclusivity and the commitment. So as you do this and you make this list, you're probably going to ask yourself and you're going to see for yourself the certain types of baggage that they are bringing in. What is the baggage that they're bringing in? This is baggage from past relationships. This is baggage from trust issues. This is baggage from having girls night out and all of a sudden, you know, they're drunk till two in the morning and you're upset or they're upset. And there's just like the, the way that most people act today, most people are not going to be worth your time. You just have to get that through your head and you can, you have to accept that the quicker you do accept it, the happier you'll be. So here's the biggest mindset shift. And this is why out of this whole whiteboard, this is the only thing that I have squared off in red. You can have intimacy without commitment. And I think this is the hardest for most guys to learn. Okay. Most guys have been conditioned their whole life that if they don't commit, they're not going to get any intimacy. And oftentimes the only reason they are committing is because they think that this is the way to having exclusive access or exclusive intimacy solely for them. Yet what happens nine times out of 10, the more you commit and the quicker you commit, the less value that that woman sees in you, oftentimes you lose out on the intimacy in the long run to the people who will not commit. So this is the hardest for most guys to learn. It's the hardest to accept this mindset shift that the Kool-Aid you were fed of if you commit and you be this good guy who commits, you're oftentimes going to be the one that wins the heart. And this could not be further from the truth. Okay. It's hard for guys to admit the fact or even think of the fact that they can have intimacy. Well, you know, potentially just living life on their own terms, but all of these are possibilities. So as you think like this, you're going to finally come to a conclusion. And the conclusion is who else could fit me better? Okay, who else could fit me better based off the value that I bring to the table. If you are taking care of your body, if you are taking care of your fitness, you're taking care of your health, you're taking care of your finances, you can provide a good living for yourself, you could even provide a good living for others if you had to, then you need to act like it with your screening process and with your qualification process. That means that the companions who come into your life, you're constantly asking, could this person fit me better? What other things does this person bring to the table? Okay. If you come from that frame, notice the mentality shift of the higher value. Okay. It's not that you are faking high value. It's that you actually are high value because you now have an actual standard. You don't just want anybody. You're desireless and you're non needy. If you come from this frame and you come from this perspective, you're going to win in the long run. So just know this, that if you date like a 99 percenter, which most people do, if you date just anybody, you will oftentimes be interjected with friend drama. You will be interjected with multiple red flags. Okay. You will probably, the longer you commit, start to notice your companion has a entitled mentality to you, to your time, to your resources, to dates. You're going to deal with nagging or rude attitudes. Okay. Not to mention the longer you commit will typically equal loss of respect. And here's the biggest reason why, where you put your time matters. So if before you were putting your time to chasing excellence, chasing your purpose, doing things that you want to do, hanging out with your types of friends, and now you're all of a sudden going to weddings you had no interest in going to, hanging out with specific friends of that other person's you have no interest in, you're doing all of these things. Loss of respect naturally happens because it shows your boundaries can be broken. So you were probably won over too easy and you have to know this. And last but not least, okay. Most gals today specifically don't deserve commitment because of the complexity and the drama they are probably bringing to your life. If you start to actually see through the code in the matrix, if you will, if you actually start to see the glitch in how people run their life, if you actually start to see just how complex every relationship is, you will steer clear. 
And rest assured that time that you spent steering clear, you will now have more time to lower your stress, build your finances, chase excellence, actually be a man of value and grow into the type of guy you've always wanted to become. So if this fits you and you adapt this mindset principle and you adapt this lifestyle, I want to run something by you right now. The first thing that I want to run by you is that inside of my most premium program, MBT, okay, it stands for masculine behavioral techniques. Not only are we capping this at 2000 members and right now we have around 180 seats left, when this fills up, if I ever decide to release this back to the public again, it will be at a higher price point because I'm keeping this community exclusive. I'm keeping it small and I'm ensuring that there's enough coaching and support for you in this group of 2000 specific members. That's first. Number two, July 1st, we're doing a merchandise drop. This is the very first ever merchandise drop on this entire channel. Okay. Behind this whiteboard, I have a limited supply of t-shirts. I'll give you an example. What I've done is I've went with a very clean and a very simple logo. Okay. This is the very first ever ofi official headman t-shirt. Okay. And it has my logo on it. It has everything in it. And this is just something clean and this is something nice. So quick, quick advice for you here. If you're a part of the MBT, Okay. Masculinity blueprint accelerator. You're going to get access to that shirt one day early. If you're also on my newsletter, you're going to get access to it one day early. Everybody else to the original channel. Okay. On this channel, it's going to come out July one. So mark that in your calendar. But if you hop into the MBT or if you hop into my newsletter with the links down below that I have provided for you, you're going to get access to the very first ever official brand merchandise drop that we have ever had. And I think that that's cool because I plan on building this company and I plan on building this legacy for as long as I potentially can, which means five to 10 to 15 years. I think it's cool. And people have the very first ever official merchandise drop that we've had. So hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.